Hello YouTube, I wanted to show you the latest two new screens and uh, I also wanted to show you the rest of the screens because it's been a while since I showed them all together. So without further ado, let me start it up. This is the startup animation and the first screen is the dual screen with the speed and RPM which I am simulating on my simulator. Second screen is speed only with a speed warning. Third screen is the RPM with the shift light. The next values are simulated by the simulator by itself. So this is the coolant, oil temperature, throttle position, intake air. There was the new logo, um, ambient air battery and this is the new turbo screen turbo boost uh, if you're in bar which you can change to psi i will show you in a second it goes from minus one bar up to 1.55 zero is over here and then it goes one to 1.55 the top uh, in my car it goes from minus one to zero at full throttle but I like the dial, so I'm using this in my car too, even though it's not a turbo. So if you long touch on the touch sensor, which will be integrated into the PCB, I have new PCBs coming very soon. Uh, now you have PSI, which goes from minus 15 up to 2248. So the next screen is fuel economy. If you are standing still and motor is not running, it says engine not running. Once the engine is running and you are at a standstill, it shows gallon per hour. And if you are driving, it switches to miles per gallon. This is for Imperial and for the metric guys. If you switch to kilometers, it shows you liters per 100 kilometers and if you're standing still it shows you a liter per hour so the next screen is the catalytic converter temperature and this is the new oxygen sensor screen which now has digital readout and a bar graph so this shows you a value over time makes that visible and uh, I kind I'm I'm having too many favorite screens now so I need to get this into the V gauge so this is a new oxygen sensor screen these readings are in volt uh, in a car it goes up to 0 0.8 volt I think uh, the simulator goes up to 1.3 I think the car is lower so this is the new oxygen sensor I said it before sorry about that anyhow this is the fuel tank in percent gear indicator I have a 5 speed so automatic it shows D when you're standing still at 0 kilometers per hour or miles per hour and then it goes up to five if you have a five speed or a six speed it will show you six anyhow and it shows the throttle position and the next is the zero to 100 kilometer sprint timer when you're standing still it says floor it once you start driving it shows you the kilometers and as soon as it hits 100 it shows finished <clears throat> excuse me and the time it took there's also 0 to 60 mile timer which you get to it when you long press on the touch sensor then it's 0 to 60 and you will be also able to choose between the screen and the quarter mile screen when you order it um, this is the off screen and if you have miles per hour it shows you miles per hour of course 
here as well. RPM is the same on coolant, it shows in Fahrenheit, degrees Fahrenheit. Travel position is the same. Temperatures are all shown in Fahrenheit and the turbo boost is shown in PSI. So you have metric or imperial, you don't have to switch back and forth all the time. Once you have imperial, it will show you miles per hour, PSI and Fahrenheit. And if you have it on metric, it shows you bar, kilometers per hour and degrees Celsius. So this is the fuel economy screen and all temp um, not all cattle converter temperature also in Fahrenheit when you're in imperial oxygen sensor is the same so this is it if you have any questions or comments please leave them underneath the description there are links in the description and I also wanted to thank you again to all people that uh, support me with my Banggood affiliate link thank you very much and uh, talk to you later take care